Okay, pinched nerves are a painful part of everyday life for a lot of people, but they don't have to be that painful. We have Dr. Armin Ketchatorian with us. He is an orthopedic surgeon with the Center of from Center for Orthopedic and Rehabilitation Excellence in West Jordan. That's down by uh, Jordan Valley Hospital. That is correct. But talking about pinched nerves, I guess, what causes a pinched nerve? Pinched nerve is usually caused by some sort of a structure, usually p pushing on the nerve. There's a variety of reasons why patients can have uh, pinched nerves. The most common reason in the young patients is disc herniation. In older patients, it could be narrowing of the spinal canal as a result of aging, much like you can have a narrowing of the coronary arteries right. in the heart. And is it from lifting something or twisting wrong or? Again, and, and for acute disc herniation, that's usually a result of doing something where you should not be doing, lifting something okay. heavy you haven't done for a while. In older patients, it's more of a chronic degenerative process that takes many, many years to develop. Oh, and that's probably a consistent pain, isn't it? Other than sometimes you say, oh, I tweaked my back. That just lasts a little while. When is it bad? It's bad when you start having pain radiating into your leg or your arm. Okay. Especially if you have numbness and weakness that along with it. That is a, the most common signs would be pain along with numbness and weakness going into the arm or into the leg, that's a sign of a pinched nerve. Okay, so that's not a pain in your back, it actually shoots somewhere else in that your body. That is correct. It shoots into your arm if it's pinched in the neck mm -hmm. or in your leg if it's pinched in your lower back. In the lower back. And what are some of the treatment options? Well, we start with simple things like medications, mm -hmm. uh, physical therapy, uh, sometimes we'll do injections with cortisone-like injections. And if all else fails or if the patients are getting worse with numbness or weakness yeah. especially, then we think about doing surgery. And you don't want to do surgery. You want to try the other options first. Absolutely. But absolutely. surgery is getting a little less invasive, isn't it? Absolutely. So most of the surgeries that now we do are through very small incisions, mm -hmm. through cameras, as well as right. microscopic techniques that lead to much less surrounding damage as well as quicker recovery. Okay. But best to seek treatment as soon as you have some pain. Absolutely. Okay. And we have a lot of things we can do before surgery to get right. you better. Okay. Well, Dr. Hedgetorian, thanks so much for being here. It's my pleasure. Thank you for we'll take a break me. and be right back.